This video is sponsored by Sager Mac. Get top dollar for all your used Apple products. Use the promo code on the screen, iPhone Captain, to receive an additional $15 on your next visit. Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be trying to look at some of the top things, tips for iOS 6. Uh, I know it's been out for a little while, but the iPhone 5 was just released in a week or so ago. And I want to go through some of it. I'm going to show you these tips on the iPad simply because it's a little bigger. And another thing, I don't have my iPhone 5 yet. I'm waiting on Verizon to get them in. So I'm still in the second bunch trying to get it. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to show you in iOS 6. On the iPad, you know, of course, you've got Siri on the iPad. You know, you just it works pretty much like it does on the 4S, but that's no big deal. What I want to show you is do not disturb. This is an actual pretty cool t tweak here. Now, I'm so used to doing city of tweaks. This is a tip or a feature that you can use to turn on and off uh, messages, your phone calls, anything you, like, you want, you don't want to be bothered at night while your phone is locked, then you won't get any messages, notifications that is. They'll still come through, but you just won't get any uh, notification sounds or your screen won't light up. So let me show you what it does. You turn it on, do not disturb, and I've got it set from 10 a.m. in the morning to 7 p.m. at night to not to do not disturb, do not allow calls from anyone, okay? And in here you can actually set up groups if you want to select a certain person, say your daughter or wife or someone was out and you wanted to take their call, you can set them up under favorites to accept calls from favorites, but now we're not going to set any calls from anyone, alright? So, here's what we do. And you got to understand something now this has got to be locked okay and this is going to be a little bit difficult to do and I'm going to be sending just look just letters now watch this uh, try to keep your eye on the seven up there and you see there's nothing happening and that's because that it's locked the uh, enable is on okay now keep in mind the very minute you open the messages app up you're going to get every message that you, that you did not get okay so I'm getting all these messages right now and you can hear them going through in the background okay but they're not lighting up on my iPad Okay, but when I turn my iPad on, you can see they were coming through. It just wasn't notifying me. All right, and then when I come in here, I can read all of my. Mitch or Mac needs you. Sorry about that. Garage band. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, you can see right there that you get all of your messages once you log in. You can see I got everything right there. All right, so we've burned up enough time on that. Another awesome thing is called Reminders. Reminders is an easy way to set something that you don't want to forget, all right? Um, say we want to come in here and we want to create something new. We'll just add something new, all right? And just say, just say test me. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, all we have to do is select it, tap on it, select show more options, priority, we're going to set it to high, and we're going to set it to, here's where you could set your list if you wanted to set it in a doctor's appointment, TV show, or something like that. We'll just leave it under new list. And reminder, we want to be reminded on the day. And you can even go right down to the time here if you wanted to say 8 p.m. tonight. Okay. Let's say we want to be reminded at 5.20. Let's see. 5.25 p.m. Okay. 
All right, it's 5.23 right now, so in a couple minutes from now, I should get a reminder if we've done everything correctly. But I need to turn this Do Not Disturb off because my reminders won't come through if I don't. A quick tip I can show you right real fast inside of iOS 6, but you can do this inside of iOS 5 as well, is pinch to close your apps. That quick, you can close out of anything, anywhere you're at, five finger pinch. And you can also do a four finger swipe and go between applications. The one you had open before, okay? Ever how many you see we were in reminders, messages, we can just keep right on going through. And then when finished, we can just pinch it closed. All right, so that's a couple of fast ones. Another cool one is called email signatures. Inside of your email, you can select which signature you want to use. And you can set one for each mail account or you can set one just for one for every account. So you've got a iMessage account, I'm sorry, a Gmail account, uh, at me account, uh, at Hotmail, at Yahoo, and you've got all of them logged into your iPad and they've all got different signatures okay if you want to send someone an email but use a signature say from Gmail that's very simple to do all you have to do is come in here and select per account or all accounts that all accounts means you're going to use one signature for every account per account means you're going to set up an actual signature for each account okay and then when you send a message from gmail then it will have that signature in it another cool tweak is i'm sorry feature is called not called anything but inside of the clock you've got your start and stop they've changed the look of that overall you've got alarms you can add weather to your locations here uh, the cool thing I like about the alarm clock, instead of having to set it like that, you can drag it in where you want to. You gotta first get your finger on it just right, and you can push it up and down to move it wherever you want it, okay? And when you do that, it automatically turns it on as well. And for some reason, we missed our reminder. I don't know if we had a time that wasn't turned on properly, or what the, the deal was, but Something went wrong with the reminder because the time passed. It maybe had something to do with what was in here. One thing a lot of people don't know about, you've got to enable your emoji board. If you want to send text messages that look like this, it's got the little world globe looking thing right there. Got all these different emojis in here. Uh, I mean, there's hundreds of them. You've got different little boards for everything. Fish, flowers bells, I mean you name it is in here, cars, numbers, arrows, and there's a little bit of everything. And how you how do you do that? Very, very simple. You go into settings and it's general keyboard. Sorry I hit the wrong one. And you're gonna go to I think it's down here at the bottom. Uh, no, go to keyboards and you're going to select add new and right here you're going to have the emoji board right here. I've, I don't have it because I've already installed it. Right there you would select emoji and hit done and it would go ahead and add it and then it would, yours will look like mine and you could it should be selected and then it would work just like mine does.